telescope that is, a Newtonian telescope. This is my dinoscope, my RV6 dinoscope. Well, this one isn't mine, but it's a picture of one similar to the one I have. You like this? This is an ad from the early 1970s from Criterion Manufacturing, a six inch dinoscope, $194.95. Yeah, that was 40 years ago or so. Uh, the price has gone up a little bit, but you can't get this telescope anymore. So here's how this particular telescope works. Let's take a look at this type of German equatorial mount. You can see in this diagram that there are two axes, the blue lines at right angles to each other. One is the polar axis that points up towards the North Celestial Pole, towards the North Star, Polaris. Um, in order to turn around on that axis, you need a clock drive. There it is in the lower right. Um, you also need to plug that thing in to an AC outlet. This is, again, 40-year-old technology, but it still works. The other axis at right angles to that is the declination axis. And you'll notice that the telescope is on one side of the polar axis, uh, and the counterweight is necessary on the other side. So the counterweight is approximately the same weight as the telescope itself. That's how a German equatorial mount works. And the white tube is the optical tube, the optical tube assembly. Uh, in the back there in the lower right, I don't have it labeled as where the primary mirror is. So the light goes down the telescope, off that concave primary, back up to the front. There's a secondary mirror that shoots the light out to the side where the eyepiece is. And you always need a little finder scope on your telescope. The one that is on the dinoscope is about a six times magnification. Not very much, but it, it gets you pointed in the right direction. And the pier is there. Some telescopes, of course, have tripods. And that's, that's how a German equatorial mount works. And you can see a lot of German equatorial mount type telescopes out there. Advantages, disadvantages. Uh, one of the disadvantages is you need the counterweight, so automatically the telescope weighs twice as much. Uh, but there are some advantages. It's very easy to build, very easy to manufacture. Uh, as I say, that's my favorite telescope. The Dynascope, I've had it for more than 40 years now, and I love it.